This is what's known as the wrong reason to do film franchises. And as heartless as that sounds, um, allow me to explain why as I go through this, folks. Welcome back, it's your buddy Orange Hat here, here to bring you another video, right after I'm done cleaning my glasses. But before, er, but before I do get into this, uh, shout out to Rick Aragorn on X, Twitter, whatever you want to call it. He's the one that actually uh, drew my attention to this. So, yeah, uh, Taika Waititi had no interest in directing a Marvel movie. He took the Thor Ragnarok job because he was poor and it was a great opportunity to feed his kids. Now, I am sympathetic, sure. I am very sympathetic. But, um, that also is something that delays your focus, or diverts your focus, rather. Excuse me. And, uh makes you think of something other than what you're supposed to be doing. So anyway, let's get in, into this a little bit further. Let's uh, listen to this. Taika Waititi revealed on a new episode of Smartless Podcast that he had no interest in join, joining the MCU as a director. The filmmaker has directed two MCU movies since 2017's Thor Ragnarok and Thor Love and Thunder, and which is one of the most, or franchises most polarizing. Uh, yeah, it was nothing but pure agenda and bullshit. The Oscar winner said he originally accepted Ragnarok gig for money as he had just had his second child. You know what? I had no interest in doing one of those films. It wasn't on my plan for my career as an Altier. But I was poor and I just had a second child and I thought, you know what? This would be a great opportunity to feed these children. And you know what? I can sympathize. Again, I can sympathize that you need to fit, or you need to work to support your family. Sure, but you are handed something also that you really didn't like, which continues in this uh, article. And Thor, let's face it, it was probably the least popular franchise. He continued, "I never read Thor comics as a kid." This is the part where I do not like this man. And my justification for not liking Ragnarok is only furthered from reading this. That was the comic I picked or I picked up and be like, ugh. And then I did some research on it and I read one of the Thor comics 18 pages or however long they are. And I was still baffled by this character. When asked if Marvel executives were scared to bring him in, YTD answered, I think there was no place left for them to go with that. I thought, well, they've called me in. This is really the bottom of the barrel. Yeah, especially your dumb Jojo Rabbit ass. Thor Ragnarok ended up earning a critical acclaim, $853 million at the world box office. Uh, Love and Thunder tapped out as still strong, $760 million worldwide. Waititi recently told Business Insider that he will most likely not return as enough to direct another Thor movie because his slate is booked for the next six or so years. Well, also, um, Marvel didn't want to bring him back. They were actually listening to a lot of the uh, fan backlash. And a lot of people don't like it when a uh, director threatens to ruin your mythos in a minute, baby! But hey, what do I know? I'm just a person who does YouTube videos, right? So, I know that I won't be involved. Thor 5 directing duties. I'm going to concentrate on these other films that I've signed on for, but I love Marvel. Love working with them. I love Chris. Chris wasn't really fond of you, dude. From what it sounded like, he's he doesn't want to ever do another movie with you. I mean, you did kind of disrespect his character. And, I mean, you made his character a fucking joke. He had that beautiful freaking uh, hero's journey from the first movie. Second movie, he was continuing that hero's journey. Then that third movie, you made him a freaking joke. What is that? And then the fourth movie, you took it even further. I would never feel like they are cheating on me and yada yada. But that's the... I don't need to know any further of this. I mean... 
we're in an open relationship. Really? And it's like, if they want to see other people, I'm happy for that. Yeah. So there's, or you're alluding to something that has no loyalty attached to it. And you know what? That's fine. I mean, I wouldn't want your ass loyal to Marvel because you suck at making Marvel movies. A lot of people say, oh yeah, Thor Ragnarok was good. Thor Ragnarok has had good visuals. It doesn't necessarily mean it's good. Good visuals don't make a good movie. Or aren't the only thing that make a good movie. You need to have a good writing. You need to have a good story. You need to have less humor. That was the problem with the MCU, folks. They said, oh, Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and 2 made a lot of money. We should copy that formula with all the other movies afterward. And that's when it started going downhill. When they started making all their movies like Guardians of the Galaxy, where it's nothing but comedy. That isn't what it's supposed to be like. You're supposed to have that serious threat. You're supposed to make sure that you don't screw around. You're supposed to take it seriously. Sure, sprinkle in a little comedy. But don't freaking deviate from what makes the character that character. Thor was the Prince of Asgard. Didn't want to be King of Asgard. And sure, you could have done Thor Ragnarok, but you could have also cut 80% of the humor and it still would have been a or would have been infinitely better. But him taking the movie, ruining the character, also he could feed his kids. Um I'm sorry. I understand the need to feed your kids, but do it with a movie that isn't MCU. You know? I'm sorry. I just feel that that needs to be said. And him, they gave him Thor, which he doesn't freaking hate or like. He hates Thor. He hates the character. He's like, ugh. That's that's like Waititi in response to Thor. Ugh. They give me Thor. Fuck. Okay, let's just fuck around with it. That's the attitude he had. And now we know why the movies that he did sucked. Sure, they were box office successes, except for uh, uh, Thor Love and Thunder. I do not believe that was a success, but if it was, well, not by much. But the movie also still sucked. But yeah. <laughs> this man sh is a freaking moron, and they say he's a f or he's a genius. What is he a genius of? I haven't seen a movie of his that is good at all. Honestly, haven't. And the three movies that I have seen that he has directed wasn't very... Like I said, they weren't good in my eyes. Thor Ragnarok, Jojo Rabbit, and Love and Blunder? No. <laughs> that strike three for me, man. And him basically saying, Oh, you're nothing but a bunch of bigots, and I'll ruin your mythos in a minute. You're supposed to take the criticism from the fans who are freaking trying to let you know this is not a good way to go. But hey, what do I know? I'm just a YouTuber making videos. Anyway, folks, that is going to be the video. You all know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you think of Taika Waititi? It's nice that he fed his kids, but he sacrificed a character from the MCU to do it. What, you, what are your thoughts? Anyway, folks, this has been Orange Hat. You all have a wonderful day. Stay humble.